Lord uses. Lord Eustace, welcome back to Berehar. It's a pleasure to see you again. Amazing. <laughs> I can't believe all the station employees would abandon their duties to come and welcome him. He's a real VIP. I've returned here as a student of Thor's military academy to conduct a field study. I believe you were informed that this manner of excessive welcome is neither necessary nor desired, were you not? Well, well yes, but... You're a child of the Elberea household. If anything, we should be apologizing for not giving you an even greater welcome. Please, allow me to carry your lunch. We would be honored to carry the belongings of your classmates as well. <sighs> that won't be necessary. Huh? Lord Rufus? Uh... Rufus? What? My beloved brother, it's a pleasure to see you again. To think it's been three months. Where did the time go? I wasn't expecting to reunite with you so soon, but I'm delighted to have the opportunity. As am I. You seem well. I take it these are your fellow members of Class 7? Yes, that's correct. You know about us? Of course. I've read all about you in my brother's letters. Where are my manners, though? My name is Rufus Alberea. Eusis is my younger brother. You needn't hide your shock. It would come as no surprise at all to learn that my brother has never once mentioned me. He is, after all, quite easily embarrassed. Th that's not... He's being toyed with. I can hardly believe my ears. What happened to the arrogant young upstart we've come to know and mostly tolerate? Ah, but I digress. This is no time for idle chatter. I came to escort you to your lodgings for the weekend. W wait, you don't mean... <laughs> the car is parked outside. Welcome to the verdant city of Bereahard. I hope you enjoy your stay, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. See? So the one responsible for selecting our tasks this time around was... Indeed. I selected them on behalf of my father. Allow me to present you with this. Thank you. It really is a fascinating coincidence. I never imagined my younger brother would become classmates with the son of Lord Schwarzer. Huh? You know my father? Certainly. Baron Theo Schwarzer is an old acquaintance of mine. Many years ago, I accompanied him to a falconry competition held in the suburbs of Heimdall. He taught me much about the practice and its etiquette. Why, that must have been ten years ago now. Is he doing well these days? <sighs> yes, he's quite well, and still just as fond of hunting as ever. Splendid, splendid. <laughs> and you must be the son of Governor Regnitz, no? That's correct. I'm surprised you knew. Indeed. I encounter him quite often when taking care of official matters in the capital. Though our positions may be different, he has given me excellent advice in the past. I feel it must be fate that you two would end up in my younger brother's class. Please do try and get along with him. Uh, uh, I will consider the possibility with an open mind. 
<laughs> Wonderful. And I would be remiss if I were not to acknowledge our two beautiful ladies. No doubt your presence brings a touch of elegance to my younger brother's academic life. Oh, I'm honored you would say so. It's nothing like that. Can we please stop discussing me? And when you say lodgings, you can't possibly be referring to... <laughs> Need you even ask? Naturally, you'll all be staying at the Alborea family mansion. But... <laughs> I jest. Father's instructions were that I should do with you as I wish. So, considering the circumstances of your visit, I've had a hotel room prepared. That way you'll be able to concentrate more easily on your field study, no? Oh, thank you. I truly appreciate it. I'm afraid we'll need to end our charming repartee here, however. For I can see your hotel coming into view now. <laughs>